is you're on Facebook. So I guess we need to do it all live again. Hey, no, everyone, this is David Sarno. We're good to go. Okay. Yeah, welcome we're good. Welcome everyone to monetize. We're, welcome everyone to monetize Mondays. We're going to talk about a topic that is very important. Why? Because you're watching this on Facebook. So Henry and I got the, together this morning and said, "What's a big challenge that a lot of people are having?" And Facebook and, and how to get your message out on Facebook. How does Facebook advertising work? Is if it worked one time, you know, is it plug and play? Just continue what I'm doing and it's all automatically going to work. And we obviously know the answer to that is no and no. And we've had so many people come to us just over the past week regarding this topic that we wanted to bring it to the forefront and have a discussion. So by the way, before we even go any further, Henry had an unbelievably amazing Facebook Live this weekend and he had a cake cutting ceremony. Do you wanna share with everyone what happened on that cake cutting ceremony? <laughs> you were just about as excited as I was. <laughs> so you were like this, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> So, so as some of you guys so as some of you guys know uh my wife and i are having our first baby in august and uh we had a, a gender reveal party yesterday it was something very small um one of our aunts one of our aunts uh suffers tr uh, tremendously by uh from ms multiple sclerosis so we wanted her to be part of the 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 the, the celebration so we had it at her house and so my wife had one of her friends from high school bake this cake and inside the cake, the color of, it was either blue or pink. So when my, so when my wife cut the cake, she was struggling with it and it was driving me crazy. I was like, just cut the damn cake already. We had no idea what sex the baby was. And uh, we found out that it was going to, that it's going to be a boy. So I am like, so, yeah, so I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm super, super excited. So anyway, Enough about that stuff. Let's get into today's topic and let's talk about the real deal behind Facebook and a lot of the mistakes that people are making. And but in spe uh, but specifically, let's talk about one of our friends that was doing five, the seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in revenue uh, using Facebook ads and how everything came down to a crashing halt. Yeah, I mean, it stopped working, and this was about October, November, and and you know, it's interesting. They're like, I Facebook changed their algorithm, and all of a sudden, everything that I had wasn't working, and you know, you and they weren't getting the ROI, and everything automatically shifted. And it's funny because I've had so many people um, come to me just over the last three months and saying, "What's going on with Facebook?" I mean, it's not working the same as it used to for me. And here's the thing, A, it still does work. And, you know, as experts, what we're doing is we're constantly testing and seeing where the changes are. Depending upon if you're promoting an event or a product, they're really looking for relevancy. And Facebook, as they grow as a corporation, and we can get into a whole lot of conspiracy theories in regards to Facebook and things like that, that will put off to the side. And, and yet, you know, they're really looking at the messages, the ads that are going out there and what's being promoted. Um, I've known uh, many people uh, over the past several months going at it alone, thinking they were doing the right things and they got their Facebook account shut down. And, or they had their account shut down once and then they got their, you know, Facebook realized that, the, hey, they set up a new account, connected the dots because of a credit card and then shut down their second, second account. So there's a lot of things that that people need to realize that a Facebook is changing, a b it does still work, and mm -hmm. c you just got to dig deeper and and really have some patience when you're you're selling things and you're using Facebook to promote yourself. And one thing that I got to say as well, and I just did a launch the past uh, week and a half, two weeks with someone, and the audience that you think is your audience is not always your audience. So I'll give you an example. We, we did a, a, a landing page to you know an auto webinar and this client thought that they knew what their exact audience was. And we, we, we put out ads and oh my gosh, it was high. It was, the, the cost per, per click through was um, close to $2. Wow. Um, it was 
that's really high. And there was no sales in the first week in, in nearly $900 spent. Mm -hmm. And so, well, this weekend we just had a, a celebration party because, um, you know, we, we, every day we monitor what's working and what's not working and did little tweaks and adjustments. And the interesting thing is now we're down um, under 60 cents per click and they got their first sale this weekend and none of us even realized the sale went through. And it was like for uh, $2,000, it was a $2,000 <laughs> sale. So not only did all the, you know, cover that first week, week and a half of investment while we're testing, there's already a profit there. So the interesting thing is once you, you've got to make sure that there's a message to market match on your ad to your landing page, make sure you've identified the audience who's really going to buy. And here's the interesting thing. We were mostly targeting men because they like men, this is for men. You know who the first client was who spent two thousand dollars? It was a woman. They're like, no. oh, maybe we, maybe we need to rethink. So we're gonna change, create some new ads targeting towards women and see and split test it. So anyway, long winded. You gotta test. You gotta track. It still is working. And Facebook changed what they were doing in the past. So you gotta really dig in and figure it out, or, or connect yourself with someone who is that dialed in and looking at it every single day. Right. And and that that's a great point. And if you're not a Facebook ads person and you don't have the patience and you just don't know where to start, get some, hire somebody. Like, honest to God, don't spend the time, don't spend the money or waste it on trying to do this yourself. Facebook is one of those long game uh, approaches and you, you have to be extremely patient with it or else you're going to you're going to lose. And uh, we have a we have a guy right, David, that does all of our stuff. You know, I do some Facebook advertising on the side just for my own personal branding stuff, but it's it's very dialed in, and I know what I'm doing at that point. And it's basically just boosting my videos. Um, but if you want to go into the whole testing and all of that, hire hire an agency to do it because they're doing it every single day, and they know what they're doing. Like, and, I mean, we're not, please know we're not offering and offering Facebook advertising. The only people that we do Facebook advertising for are the people who are in our partners and profit program. So it's sort of like our inner circle are right. the only people that we do that for. It's not a service that we offer for anyone no. who's not. So just, no, just no. letting you know that. I mean, we're, we're telling you this because we do this every day. It's to add value and, and give you ideas. We're not we're not pitching to to manage your Facebook. Please know right. that. Right, and that, honestly, that I would I would I would rather jump naked into the foot of snow outside than to run Facebook ads all night. I thought you were gonna do that on 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 uh, when you did your video. I thought you were gonna. <laughs> yeah. So a couple of different things. I mean, talking about Facebook ads on a on a on a on a deeper level, I think a lot of people. What I've seen work for me is the 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 personality and how native you are with your Facebook ads really plays a, a a role into how effective they are. You know, I can't tell you the last time, and I may be an anomaly here because I do this every day, but I can't tell you the last time I clicked on a Facebook ad. But the one thing that I did click on is a video of Gary Vaynerchuk, and you know he's going on one of his crazy rants. Like that is what people click on on Facebook. So if you're putting out these static ads that look like everything else, how do you expect to stand out from all the noise that's on Facebook? Like, yeah. seriously. Um, by the way, I'm opposite of you. I click on, I, I take snapshots of ads and I click on ads all the time because I want to see if something is targeting me, I want to know what they're thinking and see if there's a connection to the landing page because I like to always, it's sort of like reverse engineer funnel hack. I like to see the whole marketing and advertising hack. So it's like creating our own um, um, swipe file basically of what people do. And we did, we do that screenshots, put them in folders, upload it. And that way we can see what people are doing. And I don't know if it's working for them or not. 
And at the same time, it's always good to sort of understand. And that's, by the way, competitive intelligence. Every, you know, what people say is, well, just come at it on your own. You know, sometimes the best ideas are going to see the mistakes that other people make or remind yourself of the mistakes that other people make. That's the um, truth. That's the truth. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I do the same thing. Uh, I'm clicking through to see, you know, how, <laughs> how scammy the landing page looks like, right? Because it's, it looks there's people putting out crap right now and it, and no wonder why everybody's so skeptical but i'm saying from a from a consumer standpoint like i have not clicked on a facebook ad to purchase something in a very very long time and i feel like the more um advanced or the more the market becomes aware of this or immune to them you know the less effective these ads are going to be. And so I'm teaching, you know, we're teaching our clients, how can you set yourself apart from all the other noise that's out there? And how do you use Facebook ads effectively to get the people that you truly want to attract? You go very niche and you go very narrow. Um, the challenge I'll give you that most people do is, they'll put a lot of things let's say i'll just give you an example if someone wants to target people interested in business and finance they may target or they may target fox news cnn cnbc um they may target wall street journal investors business daily they may target all those things right then they may narrow it down well they may not most people don't narrow it down they don't know how to right. <laughs> Um, you can exclude people. So you could say this list, but they also have to match this and they have to match this and exclude those people. You can do that. Um, most people don't. And uh, But a better thing would be, why don't we just pick Investors Business Daily, Wall Street Journal, and Barron's, and then they also have to match this and they have to match this. Now, all of a sudden, if, we're, if we start getting a uh, lower cost per per click and a lower cost per version here or here or here, we now know where we need to play the, the instead of having millions of people you need to target, you know, get 10,000, 9,000, 15,000, narrow that down and really start identifying who your buying avatar is. Because yeah. once you know who your buying avatar is, you can create audiences that are like that. And so many times we don't know, we think we know, and unless we have data, we don't know. Right, right. And again, it all comes down to how authentic you are in these ads. Because the, the level of skepticism right now is so high. I see it on Instagram every day. For example, um, when I do my Facebook Lives, uh, my Instagram Lives, right? At the end, I like to give away something for free. Like last Friday, we gave away a 30-day free, uh, a 30-day trial to the Passionpreneur Inner Circle. Uh, the day before, I gave away a bunch of copies of my free book, um, my book, right? And it's crazy. So I'll get a DM. So this is what I'll tell them. After the live, DM me your full name and address, and I will get a book out to you ASAP. I get a guy that DMs me, and he says, this isn't some scam, is it? <laughs> and I go, no, what makes you think that? Well, there's, 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 there's a lot of garbage out there nowadays, and... I don't want I don't want to be put on some list and be scammed and I, and and or be spammed. And I was like, I feel sorry for this guy because this is what's going on nowadays. Everybody's got this get rich quick ebook out. Everybody's got a free masterclass. Everybody's doing the same freaking thing over and over and over again. Who do you trust? Well, I'll give you an example. I just had a um, a message with uh, a client that we did a website, Henry, you and I did this morning, or we, you and I did a website for them. And we had a conversation this morning because she wants to do an um, auto webinar and she was asking um, thoughts on it. And she's like, should I say, you know, she's like, I see so many people going, oh, I see Timmy's here and I see Jane's here and I see Fred's here and I see Henry's here. Hey, welcome everyone. I'm like, she, I said, and I said, they know you're not live. <laughs> I mean, and, and and even if they don't, one per the one person who knows you're live, you think they're going to believe anything else that you're saying to them because you're not being real. You're not being authentic. You're not telling the truth. 
and if and it's like you're only is can you're you're only is you're you're only ethical to your first level of incongruency and if all of a sudden you start off your web class or your webcast doing things like that i don't i'm not going to believe anything that anyone's telling me if i'm watching it i mean because i know that they're not telling me the truth they're exaggerating they're lying so mm -hmm. soon as, as soon as i see that guards up sh sh yeah. and i'm done and so Bye. Yeah, the, so one of the biggest mistakes I'm seeing on Facebook is that there's, these people are putting out one message, but they're delivering another. Yeah. And, that, and that is a dupe. That is not authentic. That's not real. That's not, you're connecting with somebody that's ultimately going to not be a good fit in the long yep. run. I just had a great uh, strategy call with one of my Branding on the Man clients right before this live. And I was talking to her about how, and I will put myself out there, I'm not afraid to talk about it anymore. You know, years ago, I was very materialistic. I liked the finer things in life. And, you know, there's a part of me that still does, but I'm very humble at this point of my life. And, but the problem was, is I was putting this message out there. I was putting this energy out there that I was this materialistic guy who that's all he cared about was money and things. And guess who I attracted? I attracted the same type of person. But deep down in here, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. And it wasn't until I got my mind checked and somebody said to me, listen, start being you. Because when you start being you, you're going to attract more people like you. So knock it off with the materialistic bull crap and start speaking from the heart. And I have to tell you, Dave, and you heard this story a hundred times, but that is what changed the game for my business and my brand. And now I am honored and, and grateful to have the clients that I have because they're all in line with my values and they're all in line with, with what I love. And that, that's, that's tremendous because it, it doesn't make work feel like work understand so the lesson here for everyone is if a facebook doesn't happen overnight you got to dig deep and you've got to segment and you've got to test what works in and, and and understand what doesn't work the things that aren't working you pause notate what you did that didn't work so you know next time and then the things that are working keep that and then add a new variation and see if the new variation works better does it give you a better response or or, or not and you'll be able to make decisions that way. When you're doing video ads and you're putting yourself out there on posts that you're gonna boost, be authentic because whoever you are is who you're going to attract. And when you start doing this in a systematized basis, not haphazardly, literally track every single thing that you're doing, measure it, track it, and then um, you'll get better results. And if you don't want to spend the time learning, because there's great courses out there, if you don't want to spend the time learning how to do it yourself, align yourself or hire someone who does. Um, ask them to give you examples of their process, because here's an example. Uh, per, uh, just I'm going to close it on this. The client of, of mine, um, who, a doctor who had actually was outsourcing uh, their Facebook marketing to someone else. And the lady was saying that, well, it's not working. And I said, what's not working? She said, the ads aren't, aren't working. I said, well, what are you doing? Walk me exactly through, show me what you're doing. And I can say, I can tell you why it's not working. <laughs> so, so many people will hire someone who's 18, 19, 23, 25 years old because they think, oh, they're that generation. They understand Facebook. Just because they position themselves as understanding Facebook, yeah, I can log into Facebook too, and I'm 48 years old. <laughs> um, the challenge is, do they really take the time to understand the systematic strategy behind everything that we're doing and make sure that they're serving you the best way they possibly can? And I can guarantee you that most people don't based upon what we've seen in the conversation we've had and we get a peek under the tent of what most people do. So make sure that you make good decisions when you're, you're bringing on people to help you. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. We'll, we'll, we'll leave with that. I think that's a great place to, to leave off and uh, have an amazing, amazing day guys. 
And uh, we'll catch you next week on the next episode of Monetize Mondays. Actually, Thanks, we're, Dave. Next, 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 week, next, next week, we're going to Dallas. So it's the week after. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So anybody who's going to Funnel Hacking Live, we'll see you there. Bye, everyone. Peace out. Take care.